Uh, I was born in southern Missouri, down in, in uh, the southwest corner of, of Missouri, uh, a little town called Cassville, Missouri. I, I enjoyed uh, doing some painting when I was in grade school, um, and then I had also uh, got my first camera when I was about 16 years old. It was a Brownie Hawkeye camera. I never had any formal training. Uh, and then when I, uh, when I went to work for Western Electric, I, I worked myself, I, I started in the print shop. And um, I worked there for a couple of years and decided that uh, they needed a, a photo lab. Uh, we were in a pilot operation and, and my boss said, okay, we'll, we'll set up a photo lab. And, and so I then became the photographer and I worked in that position for about eight or nine years. I was taking pictures of, of new projects uh, for, for engineering purposes primarily, and then I did some for the newspaper, uh, some for outside uh, publications, and, and uh, after I retired, uh, I started doing more serious black and white uh, with uh, studying Ansel Adams uh, more, and, and even to the point of building some of my own cameras. Edward Weston and uh, a few of the old the old masters, um, but primarily Ansel Adams' work. Black and white. Uh, when when I first really got serious with with photography, it was much. I I could control. I could do my own developing and printing and so forth of black and white. Whereas I didn't really have the, the facilities set up to do color. And I like to have the total, total control of the process from start to finish. I, I always shoot color and then I do my, my converting to black and white uh, after the fact, after I've shot it in color. Now, when I was shooting film, I, I shot when I, wanted to sh when I wanted black and white, I would shoot black and white. When I wanted color, I would shoot color. I've, I've often said, you know, we, when you take the picture, 10% of it is taking the picture and 90% and of it is done in the darkroom, whether it be a wet darkroom or a digital darkroom. It's all digital. Um, the last darkroom work I did was right here in Hutchinson back in, oh, probably 2000, 2001, maybe. I spent many years as a professional photographer working as, as my primary job. And then as I was getting older, I would, I would go in the dark room and set it up and I would work for maybe two days. Uh, and, and then I had to recuperate for the rest of the, for another three or four days before I could get back to doing my, what I truly enjoyed. No, I, I don't miss the smell. I don't miss the chemicals. I don't miss standing on my feet. Currently, I'm, I'm shooting Nikon cameras. Uh, I have been since 1959 when, when Nikon first came out with their film uh, 35 millimeter uh, single lens reflex camera. And I'm still using some of the, the old original lenses on my current cameras. What I would like for them to feel from viewing my, my photographs is the same feeling that I get from them and each one is different. Each one has a, a, a story to tell. I would just like to say that, that, that I appreciate, appreciate the opportunity to, to sit down and, and, and share some of my thoughts. I appreciate this much.